Hi guys, in this video I wanted to share with you the whole process of making an abstract painting that is kind of a large scale. It's 80 centimeters for 80 centimeters. And uh, I prepared this base earlier and now I'm just adding it a little. It's a first layer. And I decided to make it brown and I prepare it as usual. Uh, you can see another video, I will link it how I prepare the first layer. And basically what I'm doing, I'm just using a brush, dry brush with some water and some white and the color, of course. And uh, I apply the color or apply white on top of the color uh, directly on the canvas and just kind of blend it all together. You can see I have a spray bottle that is half water, half white paint. It's actually very comfortable if you want to light up some spots. Here I used a little bit of color itself just to darken up the spots. And um, this is the first layer, so you basically will not see it, but I like to use the first layer just to make the colors pop. And usually it's darker colors. And um, of course I can start painting right on the white canvas, but I will just rather prepare some layer underneath. And uh, this painting is gonna be very colorful, so you will not even see the black layer, but there is gonna be some transparency, so you basically will be able to catch this brown and uh, slowly I'll start to add some color but here I'm still uh, working on the layer I usually let it dry before I'll start apply the paint but as it just almost blended it dries kind of fast I'm using a clear acrylic colors and this is dark brown and you can see I dark some spots and some spots are lighter and I step back to see but this layer, I know when I'm doing this 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 uh, painting, I already know that this whole layer is gonna be covered. And here I start to put some paint, and this blue looks just gorgeous with this color. And uh, even if it covers it, you can still see a little bit of brown through the blue. I add the color and add some white. I like to mix colors directly on the painting because. I think it's more interesting. You can always mix it uh, and then apply it, but I kind of like to mix it just right on top of on the canvas. And uh, by mixing, I mean adding some white. I usually really light up the color and that's all. Here I use some oil pastel, white, and I'm just scratching. Maybe this one is not very white. I think this one is almost like blue white. And then I apply some new color, it's beige. You see I apply beige and on top I apply white. Some places I just leave it by itself. Here I apply it on top of blue and it mixed a little, but I didn't mind. I just keep going and I'll cover also the marks. So you can see some of marks and some of the marks are covered. Here I used a little bit of more of blue and just keep going here and there. Not thinking much, this painting is very intuitive and it's just about colors. You can see here I added some yellowish and I blended some more oil pastels, just scratching here and there. You can see I just kind of added some contrasts. Another oil pastel, this is a really nice orange color and you see how good it looked on blue, so I decided that I'm gonna have some more orange on there, uh, on the upper right corner. The, ah, this is the white oil pastel. You can immediately see how it pops. I use Paul Rubin oil pastels and really love them. They're super, super nice. Adding some more colors. Working a lot with white. I really use gallons of white. I think it just looks gorgeous. And if you light up any color, it can change so much. You can see I'm here using the same peachy color and applying it here and there, creating some shapes, changing directions, not thinking much, stepping back to see if this kind of composition works. And I decided to add some darker spots. And you see here that I'm using blue Prussian. It's a really nice color, one of my favorites. And just add it here and there. Another oil pastel marking situation. I'll go on wet, so it basically will just scratch the canvas. Dark old pastel, blue, I believe. Some spots, some dots. 
marks that uh, I'm making are just, just to loosen up, I guess. It's just to bring some light and you can you can pretty much see you know, pastel popping. Obviously, if you're drying on um, dry paint, it will pop much more. Here, I start, here I'll start add, adding some gorgeous orange, all, almost like fluorescent. And it looks really nice with blue. It's the uh, com complementary color, so it just contrasts so pretty. And just don't be afraid to use colors. And uh, this is all about layering. And you just put one layer on top of the other and see how it looks. If you don't like it, you can always cover it up. See, I'm adding some shapes, just some other brush strokes, like some directions. And here comes the most interesting part, I believe, in the painting, when you start using a color that is very dark to just add some depth or to this other colors that are close to it. Because by adding, you see how much changes. And I think the most important thing in a painting, but there are almost, like, you can't even think about the most important thing. But I guess it has to catch the eye and kind of bring the light out of it. So by adding some contrast spots, you can bring the other colors out so they will pop. And you see how gorgeous this orange looks. And it wouldn't look like that if I would not put some dark spots. And you see here I'm applying direct paint and I'm telling you that if it wasn't for the blues, dark blues I used, this would not look like this. I'm almost done here. I will use some more oil pastels and here is the result. I hope you like it and uh, I hope you subscribe and like the video. Thank you.